Hey y'all, welcome to day 17 of Vlogmas. This morning I have been up and at them. I got two videos edited, so now it's time to step away from my computer for a little bit and get today started. So I have some really good news to report. Bo is doing so, so good. Since he started those steroids Sunday morning, he has done a complete 180 and is feeling back to his normal self just about. I'm no longer forcing him to get up. He's voluntarily moving around just like he normally does. He's going up and down the stairs. So thankfully we have some major improvement and I'm so, so, so excited about that. So I just wanted to share that update with y'all. But let's get Vlogmas Day 17 started. And Cooper always has to squeak something when I'm videoing because it wouldn't be a video if there wasn't a squeaky Cooper in the background, right? Right. Bad dog, you're so crazy. Between me and Bo, it looks like we're running an entire pharmacy in our kitchen. So I'm about to lay out Bo's meds, get my meds taken, and make sure everyone is medicated. <laughs> As always, I start off my morning by writing my to-do list and figuring out pretty much everything I need to get accomplished today. So got all of this written out and it's time to start checking things off. The first task I'm giving myself today is to pick up this apartment. It is just a hot mess. With me being gone this past weekend, dealing with the stress of Bo being hurt, it's just kind of fallen into shambles all around this apartment. So I'm going to take a little while to pick it up, get it clean, get it organized, so we can actually get through this week without living in a pigsty. I guess I'll give you a little before of what it looks like and really expose myself so that I have to clean. <laughs> Please don't judge me too hard. The kitchen is just dirty. There's a lot of pots and pans that need to be cleaned. The dishes need to be unloaded and reloaded. We got a bow sitting in the middle of the kitchen. Hey bud. And then over here, our island is like the dumping ground. Right now there's just a ton of stuff on there that doesn't need to be there. So, gotta get this cleaned off. And then me and Cody have been sleeping in the living room so that we can sleep with Bo since he's been hurt. And it's just a dump in here. There's pillows everywhere because we pulled apart the couch so we could sleep on it. So, I just, it needs to be organized. And this over here, this is pretty much a lost cause. This is the junk corner. And I don't think there's much I can do here. And then we have like a million jackets just sitting out. It's just time. It's time to clean this all up because it is a mess. Are you going to help me out, Coop? Are you going to help me clean the place? Or are you going to eat everything along the way? Probably the latter. Before I start cleaning, I had to light myself a candle so it can smell like Christmas in here. Make it just feel nice and homey. I love candles, y'all. They're the best. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. No one likes being lied to. You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us to 30 minutes of work I have to say I picked up quite a bit and it looks so much better in here the kitchen is clean the island is mostly clean as good as I could get it and then the living room is all nice and tidy 
just feels so much better in here and it didn't take that long to do so. Now the bedroom on the other hand, that's a hot mess that I'm going to tackle later today. But for now, at least the living area just feels so much nicer and less cluttered. Woo, even my bar stools are all cleaned off. I have been being real productive this morning and getting a lot of things done. I am definitely starting to get hungry, but I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch yet. So I'm gonna start off my day with some iced coffee because when all else fails, when you don't know what to eat, just force coffee down your throat. Cheers. Let's dump some of yesterday's coffee in here, some cream, and a little bit of liquid stevia to sweeten her up. And there we have it, iced coffee. And I have a little metal straw right here to stir it with. This is not good. I just spilled coffee down my arm. I spilled it down the front of my shirt. I tried to get a different angle for y'all today of me making coffee. And this one apparently is not a good one. Delicious. I am convinced Cody starved while I was gone because we don't have anything in the fridge and I haven't gotten my life together enough to go to the grocery store yet. So I'm gonna make myself one of my super easy tortilla pizzas that I make from time to time. Slap that puppy on your pan. Make it saucy, yeah boy. Cheese, of course. Since I'm out of little pepperonis, I'm just gonna use four giant pepperonis from my sandwich kit I bought the other day. And there we go. We're gonna pop this bad boy in the toaster oven and lunch will be ready. And just like that, my little tortilla pizza is ready. I think I'm gonna grab a paper towel and kind of blot some of that grease off. But pizza is probably my number one craving that I have that is not low carb. So this kind of gives me the satisfaction of the taste of pizza and it's delicious as well and it doesn't have all the carbs that a normal pizza has can you get in your kennel get in your kennel go get in your kennel go 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 get in your kennel go 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 get in get in oh you are so smart there you go puppuccino i won't be gone that long i can't wait for the day that i can trust him to leave him out but he is still eating everything in sight so he is Perfectly happy in his kennel when I'm gone for like an hour or so. Be good little puppy. Be good. I decided to venture out of the house for a short little trip to Target. Yay! I have like two more Christmas presents I need to find and I have no idea what to buy. So I figured I could come aimlessly walk around Target and maybe I'll have some like sparks go off in my brain and I'll figure out what I want to buy them. I also need to pick up a couple of things for dinner. Just a little Target run to get out of the house for a little while. So let's head on inside. I have a tiny little Target haul for y'all. I needed some paper plates. We got some toilet paper. I bought a 12 pack of paper towels that I was too lazy to bring inside because I'm so sick and tired of running out of paper towels like every three days. And then I got a bag of broccoli florets. And then I bought these really overpriced spinach and feta cream cheese stuffed chicken breasts. But these are really, really delicious, so I bought them anyways. And then the last thing I bought is something I'm actually kind of excited about. So this is a brand called Birch Benders, and apparently they sell a keto pancake and waffle mix. So I am excited to try this. It is five net carbs. However, it was very pricey. This little bag with how many servings? Uh, hold on, hold on. Eight servings was $7.39, I believe is what it was. So definitely pricey, but we'll have to give this a try in an upcoming video and see how it tastes. Hey y'all! <laughs> Welcome back to Kat's channel. So today we're doing a grocery haul and I surprise Kat with some steaks. So let's start off with the ribeyes. Got them okay. right here. They're bone in. That one looked delicious and I'll probably eat the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And, and we also got some fillets. They were a good deal as well. Two fillets under $20, and we will cook those up this week at some point as well. That's it for my grocery haul. Bye, y'all. Oh, my golly. Cody came home from work with these steaks he picked up. They look pretty delicious. Put some butter on when you eat like that. 
Cody got home from work and decided it was Christmas present wrapping time. And I've never seen a guy be so meticulous about the way these packages look. I just throw everything in a bag and call it a day. And he's trying to make it look perfect. It looks beautiful, babe. I know. I did it. <laughs> but someone helped me, and this is not centered. So, therefore, my ends aren't centered with the bottom. Oh, my God. So, uh, if y'all need help wrapping gifts, don't call Catherine. Yeah, don't, because I don't care if they look pretty. But we do have these really cute little name tags. I like these because there's glitter. <laughs> Here is Cooper showing us that he is a gift. <laughs> Did you steal one of the Christmas wrapping bows? Can I have that? That's not something you need to eat. Can I have it? Can I have it? Thank you, sir. I wanted to go ahead and get started on dinner. So I have my stuffed chicken breasts I bought at Target. I'm about to pop these in the oven for 40 minutes and get the broccoli cooking as well. I just dumped my bag of broccoli in this big pot, added some water, added some salt, and I just turned it too high to start boiling. And I'm just gonna let that come to a boil and then I'll turn it down to like a medium high heat and just let it simmer. The stuffed chicken breasts are cooked and look delicious. I finished boiling the broccoli a little while ago and yeah, dinner is ready. I added a little bit of cheese and some salt to my broccoli and grabbed me a chicken breast. Dinner is served. Yum. It is currently in the 30s outside, so a nice hot meal is perfect because our apartment is so cold right now. Look at these little babies sleeping together. Aw, so precious. I love when they cuddle up together. It is now 12.46 a.m., so for the past couple of hours, I told myself I was going to come in here and reply to emails. You know what I did instead? I started looking into investing and in stocks and different apps you can use to invest on. And I mean, that's not a bad thing to be learning about and researching, but I do things like this to procrastinate doing what I need to do. Oh well, I mean, I learned something. I wasn't just mindlessly doing nothing, right? right? Anyways, our dinner was fabulous earlier. Cody and I enjoy the heck out of that stuffed chicken. I need to go jump in the shower and get ready for bed. Bo is getting groomed tomorrow because he is just so darn hot. So I've got to get up early to take him to the groomer. So... You hear that? I guess Cooper apparently needs to go to the bathroom. All right, guys, I got to take him out. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see you tomorrow with another vlog. Bye, guys. Mwah.